Hello everybody and good morning. It's early morning for me at least. Today I have a pretty amazing workout for you. I always do, you know that. But today it's something special. Have you heard about wall Pilates? Well, this is a new format that's really taking fitness industry by the storm because it's so good. You don't really need any equipment. You just do great Pilates exercises with your body, your feet, your arms, your back against the wall. It's an awesome form of exercising, but it's not possible for everyone I know to do these moves. Some are pretty challenging. Not until we take it into the swimming pool and use the wall of the pool for the purpose. Put our hands, our arms, our feet, our body against the wall. We are able to do some pretty challenging and yet great exercises for our body. Everyone can do these. So, give me a few moments to introduce you to wall Pilates and I hope you're not only gonna get inspired, get some great fresh ideas for your water routines, but maybe even you will be tempted to sign up for on-demand aqua workouts where I will be teaching you, guiding you, correcting you, and motivating you each and every step of the way. Let's begin. Are you guys ready? Let's begin! All right, everybody, let's get into that. Hop into the pool while Pilates in a pool is ready for you. By the way, if you wanna take your routine to the next level, definitely consider using webbed gloves and resistance ankle cuffs. I recommend Sporty Brand and you can find them in my affiliate store. I will be using two types of web gloves, silicone ones and regular ones and for you, decide which one you like better. I like them both. You're actually gonna see me using both for a little bit as well. Okay, well, let's warm up. The first set of exercises will warm you up, my friends. Plie position and plie squats are going on. We'll be dragging our arms forward and out. Exhale as you drag your arms forward and then inhale when they come back to starting position. When you squat down, lift up those heels off the bottom. You can try both. You can try one heel up at a time and then obviously you're gonna switch. Next, we're gonna try knee tags along with plie squats. So you pretty much do the same thing, but now you're gonna move both feet off the bottom. It will remind you frog jumps a bit. And next, we're gonna put our arms against the wall. I wanna start with mountain climbers because this will really warm us up. This is our next position. You either position your palms like so, or you can grab it like this. Now let's talk legs. You're gonna curl one knee up and forward, and then you're gonna jump over and switch. So you have right knee, other toe is touching the bottom of the pool and then left and right and left okay we're gonna continue the same exercise but after just few reps you will be ready for more and what i mean by more you will be curling both knees up and forward just like that watch on your exhale boom curl both knees into the wall and then push both toes back to starting position. I wanna do eight times alternate legs, then I push both toes back to the bottom of the pool, right here, exhale, knee curl. And then I'm gonna start over. All right, now let's see if we can do exactly the same with just one hand support and we're gonna position ourselves sideways. It's the same water plank, so your body is in an angled position. Start with knee that's farther away from the wall, and then you're gonna switch, 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 switch. This one is quite fun, quite challenging. Make sure that free hand that's away from the wall is very busy 
and knee curl is it possible it is <laughs> it's tricky but give it a try we're only gonna do it a couple of times <laughs> very active core muscles do you feel it if you think core you will challenge these muscles more it's amazing how we can really decide what muscle group is being challenged all right now I want you to pay attention to the next knee curl we're gonna do it with knees going out to the sides and this one is called frog jump it will definitely transform the segment a bit you're gonna work your glutes and out thighs and inner thighs a bit more along with core make sure your neck is long shoulders down and away from the ears here you can see on a screen a slow motion I want you to do your best to drag those knees symmetrically out to the side so if you feel one side is a bit more tight focus on that side we're gonna hold the wall this time with just one hand and you want to find the best distance uh, from the wall for you we will start with side leg lift. So on your exhale, you're gonna drag your toe out away from the wall and then drag it back in. And again, exhale lift, exhale lower it down. As you drag it out and as you bring it back in, you wanna feel that by using your muscles, in this case, out thighs and inner thighs, you are shaping your legs so don't make it too slow and too relaxing okay you're not gonna go with the flow you're gonna go against that water this is how you really strengthen these muscles notice i am still using gloves and i definitely want to take a good use out of it yes ready for some more tricky moves how about if we add knee tuck jump? On your exhale, tuck both knees up to your chest and then push your feet back to the bottom of the pool. Here we go, mixing side leg lift and knee tuck jumps. Beautiful. And we're gonna move on to the next exercise before we switch side, my friends. Back to the same position that you already know and the same exercise, mountain climbers. This time we're gonna do floating version plus knee curls. It is a bit more fun and this version you guys gonna love the most if you have ankle cuffs. Without ankle cuffs, it's gonna be tricky. So basically, it's gonna be much harder to float. You can give it a try, but eventually you may wanna repeat mountain climbers that we did before. Again, find a tempo that challenge you. I'm doing eight curls alternate, and then I do one with both knees. This is perfect tempo for me. I want you guys to find yours and give me some more beautiful reps. So moving on, my friends, to floating exercises again. This time we have floating staircase. So one more time, you're gonna position yourself and your hands on the wall, just like that, angled position. And you're gonna start with one knee curl first. This time, instead of toes pointed, you're gonna flex it like so. Imagine the staircase floating behind you. You would be pushing your heel back and curling your knee forward to the wall right after. Your feet are no longer in contact with the bottom of the pool. Again, it will be much more tricky if you don't wear cuffs, but you can give it a try and we're gonna also open and close those legs eventually so you want to get started with your floating staircase first see how this one is going without calves you can also touch down your feet and also i will show you other options to those splits later on in the video you can do knees up knees up knees up and move just one leg out to the sides 
but definitely calves make it so much fun to float and if you guys can get those I, I strongly recommend I know you're gonna fall in love just want to remind you I am using smaller ones they are not weighted they weigh zero they just go against the resistance um, they kind of like your dumbbells okay so they let you float but they make every single move a bit more challenging so these are not weighted cups they are floaty ones <laughs> All right, go ahead, bring your feet down, maybe take a break, and then we're gonna keep on going because we definitely need more reps than that. Have fun with it. I really like how this exercise works. Lower abdominals, but then eventually when you drag your legs out and in, you get glutes, out thighs, inner thighs, yes. All right, friends, the next part of this exercise is only if this is going really, really well. We will be adding rollover. So maybe stop for a moment and watch me. After you close your legs, you're gonna push your feet forward and then toward the wall, dragging your arms back and out. And after that, you're gonna move your feet back. You are not touching the bottom if you're wearing calves. If you're wearing calves, then you will have to touch down for sure. All right, we are wrapping up these exercises as well because guess what? It's time to come back to standing position once more. Let me show you what's coming right after and maybe have a quick water break. We are standing again next to the wall and we're gonna drag our leg forward and down with our toes pointed. Front leg lift and let's do about 30 reps you will be able to do 30 maybe 20 if you're gonna take your time up first don't worry about it um, just try remember how many you did on one side because later obviously we want to double down on the opposite side do this exercise exactly how you would be doing it if out of the sudden the entire water from the pool evaporated. <laughs> you would not be climbing up on your toes, right? That would not make anything easier. So keep that other leg grounded, sticking to the bottom of the pool. Lift up your other leg only as high as it allows you to keep beautiful position, shoulders down, chin up, almost like it, it reminds us ballet a little bit, yes? And as you know, this is how Pilates was invented. It was for dancers. It definitely makes dancers' body healthier and stronger, and we definitely can take advantage of it. Long neck, shoulders down, beautiful position. You feel much better when your form is great, right? Okay, and that's gonna be the final repetition because now we're gonna kick both feet away from the wall, just like that. I will show you everything uh, from the above water camera shortly, but basically you're holding the wall and you kick both feet out away from it. It can be your knee level, your hip level, or you can kick as close toward the surface as you want to. Most importantly, you need to have a good grip of the wall and you should exhale with each and every kick. This one is great for lower part of abs and obliques. Again, your breath, exhale, feel how your belly button gets closer to the 
spine. Here I'm trying to do one le one arm hold uh, position, but that's not working for me. You guys can definitely give it a try. I surely feel I'm doing way more better in both of my hands are on the wall. So I'm gonna come back to it if you don't mind. <laughs> All right, final few kick away jumps. And then we're gonna try to stretch and relax the body. Like I said, we are officially halfway through. So you can just open your legs, round up your back, and then open your arms, allow your body to be flexible, relax, shake your hips a bit, dance for a little bit, consider taking a quick water break. And after that, we're gonna move on to standing position again. This time we have front leg lift plus leg extension. And we are only gonna enjoy this one for 12 reps. Yes, yeah, so now you swing that leg front and back a bit farther than before. Please notice I am leaning slightly forward with my leg extension, right? This is to protect that lumbar spine. Those of you who maybe suffer with lower back pain, you definitely want to be very aware of the fact that swinging like back too high is not good for you. Okay, so lean a bit forward and make that back extension smaller. Good. Okay, coming back to our position where we face the wall because that's a wall Pilates. We're gonna use the wall a lot. And my friends, we have floating scissors, but we're gonna start with touchdown version right now. So one toe is pushed to the bottom and the other toe is dragged very close to the surface, but you never should see your feet kicking out. I hope you can see it here. My feet are below the water at all times. Sometimes it happens that you are bending your knee and that's how you are kicking and splashing. Avoid that. If you find this exercise impossible to do with your feet completely submerged, then take those cuffs off, strengthen your legs, and only after you will be ready to do it correctly. And now, my friends, we're gonna do get out jumps. Um, I will show you options though, because I am aware not everybody will be able to do it. So, I want you to try. Put your hands against the wall and press. Move your whole body up and down. Move your belly button above the water surface. See how that feels. The slower you do it, the better. The next step is to try do it on one leg. So you're gonna hold one heel up, for eight and then you want to switch leg if this is impossible then you guys will try do push-ups against the wall basically you put your hands against the wall and you move your chest front and back like you see on a little screen so there's always an option there's always a way it's all level class 100 percent now we guys come back to our position where we are holding the wall we're gonna continue wall scissors with touch down like we did before plus floating this is a mix of what's the best how many of each i like to mix eight when my toes are touching down and then eight where i'm gonna go a bit faster and i am floating so it's double the speed yeah you're probably gonna go twice as fast if you don't touch the bottom and both of these options give you something else so mix it don't choose your favorite one okay i need you to like both and enjoy them a bit here we go Hey guys, get out jumps with splits. Ooh, these will be a bit faster than get out jumps. Uh, you're gonna press on your palms like before and you're gonna open your legs and keep your toes pointed. Now, you can go ahead and move a bit slower on your way up. 
but on the way down i need you to close those feet as quickly as possible yeah this is how you position your palms it really depends how deep your pull is sometimes it's easier sometimes you have to find whatever works better for you this is great uh, decompressing exercise for spine, right? It's totally low impact because not only because of the water, but look, our spine is stretched here. Ooh. Very happy exercise. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, we're gonna stop for just a little bit. Let's do bent, forward bent on the wall, feet up on the wall, holding the edge of the wall, round up that spine a little bit, breathe. This is just a transition exercise, so you can take a water break meanwhile. And meanwhile, I'm gonna show you what's next. Reversed plank is next with scissors and friends this position may be a little tricky i am in a corner of the pool right now so this is my favorite spot for reversed plank and scissors okay but if you don't have access to the corner you can put your shoulders very close almost on the wall like this and then you're gonna extend one leg forward and then back beginners you may want to try one leg up and down and then switch right and then eventually you're gonna switch them a bit faster and they're gonna look like scissors once more just like that right you switch a little bit above the bottom or down on the bottom all right final few moves and we're gonna move on to the next and friends full disclosure this next exercise was invented at the time of recording this video <laughs> yes i know you've seen cross country before but right now my feet are gliding on the surface of the water plus we're gonna add leg lift, which I will be happy to show you in just a moment. You can use gloves for that or not. You'll see me starting without, and then I notice I forgot to put it on and I love wearing them. <laughs> so I barely touched the bottom of the pool. For this, you need to find the perfect water level. It's gonna be different for everybody because it really depends how tall are you. For me, I am today at the four feet water level. I'm 5.6 and this is just perfect. I do wear shoes when I'm gliding them on the bottom because just in case there is like a sand or something, I don't wanna scratch my feet or maybe there is a piece of glass, who knows, okay? so notice i'm gliding those feet okay it's a lot of fun it's a lot of challenge for deep core muscles yes my gloves are on did you see this every other time i'm lifting my leg so i'm now talking about my left leg the one that's closer to the bottom it's lifted i drag it back and then i slide it forward and again it's gonna be lifted drag it back and then I'm touching the bottom. Lift, cross country, cross country, cross country, and lift, cross country, cross country, all right. You sometimes, but it's not the same. Okay, now we're gonna do mix of cross country skiing exercises, just what we did, but even more options, vertical, horizontal, and floating. Yes, I have mismatched gloves now. <laughs> okay, well, the first one, we're gonna do the vertical. So you're gonna push your feet to the wall. You kind of switch legs like you just did. One leg up, one leg down. One leg is on a wall, the other is down on the bottom. And you just use your hands in any way to help you do this exercise right. You drag them back you drag them forward. The higher you can bump that toe to the wall, the better. Okay, next we're gonna move on to floating version. 
So let's go back a little bit. We've done this already, yes? It's almost like scissors floating. There we go, scissors floating. It is still a cross-country skiing, yes? You see the same leg moves. And eventually, we're gonna do horizontal option with both our feet on the bottom of the pool. Just now we are facing the wall and now we have both hands free. So let's drag them forward with one leg and back with the opposite leg. Okay, final one. And we're gonna move on to gliders. Again, you know what to do. Feel it deep in your core. Okay, well, this is a new one. The mix is new. Jump out, glide in, plus get out, split jumps. Yes, we have option with side leg lift if you need to. Check the little screen. But other than this, try jump out, slide your feet in, and then open your legs on your way up one more time. Like I said, if something is really, really good, we have to repeat it many times. Just another example. You can be holding the wall when your feet are jumping out and in, or you can move away a bit. I actually do one of each, but truly, if you guys want to do eight of each, fine, okay? How you mix those moves together eventually it's up to you. There's a lot of freestyle moves in today's class, right? And once more, quick reminder, if the get out jumps is not your favorite, then you will be doing standing leg lifts to the side. We're gonna finish this routine with some more upper body moves. And for this one, you wanna position yourself quite close to the wall and imagine there's a mirror there. You wanna put your whole palm back against the mirror with your right and then with your left palm. How you position your palm, it's really up to you. You can choose easy way. You can go front and back or you can go around with the hand that's farther away from the wall. Now, it's very important, yes, that you breathe out. You see me on a big screen, exhaling, making sure you can see it. And that is so important in Pilates and in any actually form of exercising. We breathe into the nose, we exhale out through our mouth. Shoulders are still square with hips, so don't lean forward. Make sure your feet move a little bit. This rotation comes from your knees, not from your spine that much, okay? You want to protect that spine. Good. One hand and another one. Kind of giving high fives. Oh, and by the way, if you are exercising with someone, you may want to do palms against each other. Give yourself high fives on the water. Good stuff. <laughs> We're going to switch side. And as before, go ahead, rotate so you can touch the knee. Feel the hamstring stretch. Maybe reaching to your toes is option today. Listen to your breathing. Make sure it's getting a bit small, slower and more relaxed. And now you turn your foot sideways. And I like to hold my leg under the knee and I move this hand away, away from the wall. This one is quite challenging side stretch. Great for inner thighs and hamstrings. We've really covered every single muscle group today. You should be feeling it. Okay, we're gonna switch side. 
right hand on a wall and left opens out and in like so open and close well this time i want you to completely relax shake those shoulders relax open close great exercise to look around who's in a pool today <laughs> what's happening <laughs> and bend into the wall so one hand on the wall and the other hand is going all the way above 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 next and this is a new move too you're going to round up your back you are on your tippy toes yes and as before other hand up against the wall Go in and out, feel the flow, surrender. This is an easy part, very relaxing and it should be. Your breath slows down. You're giving your body heads up. I'm done for today. And again, side bend in toward the wall. Reach higher, higher, up to the ceiling or up to the sky. If you're lucky to exercise outdoors, again, you're gonna bend your knees, your toes barely touching the bottom, or you can move your toes up. And this is truly possible only with calves. I've tried it without, it gets really, really tricky. So you may, you may want to try, but I don't guarantee it will happen. And then you're going to swing your hips back and you arch your spine. So you're going to round it, kind of like standing cat and camel stretch. Just we are floating because we are superhumans wearing those calves. <laughs> And this is it for today. As you see, I'm taking all of the equipment out and away. Friends, it was a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. I hope you're gonna do more. And I also hope that you're gonna spread the world about word, about this amazing new format. Some of your friends may already love wall pilates but how about if you convince them to try wall pilates in the pool that's something different it's such a magical magical format great for everyone great for any age group any fitness level and i just know you're gonna come back for more so thank you so much again and i'll see you the next time bye now